yeah, that it's too. It's just ridiculous, it's too bright. It's really bright. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Look, it's Pete from Petro Tours. It's very sunny, he's forgot his sunglasses, he's left them in his other it's car. It's really, really sunny. <laughs> it's a gorgeous day actually. And in the background is your brand new BMW M240i, which you picked up uh, just under a week ago. And you're taking it on tour this weekend? This coming Sunday. <laughs> So Pete's very <laughs> kindly let me come up, shoot some quick content on it while it looks brand spanking new and it's not covered in dead bugs, dead birds, it's got like stone chips. Miles on it. It's got 150 miles on it. <laughs> Lovely. So let's have a quick, I'll tell you what, last time we were here, it yeah. was about two months ago yeah. and it felt like it was about to snow <laughs> with the Morgan. It was like minus something. Now we've got out, it's really, really cold. Oh. It's so chill. lovely. It's so cold. It's so lovely. Anyway, yeah. let's have a quick look around the car. Yeah. Right, Mr. Pete. Yeah. Your new M240. So this is, what engine is this? This is a B58. Yeah. Um, same as my 340. Yep. Um, so three litre inline six, 24 valve, twin scroll turbo, 370 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque. Yeah. Connected to a ZF HP gearbox. Yeah. Just like the Morgan. We had. <laughs> and your 340. Same, same engine and gearbox, um, but obviously this is four wheel drive. This is the X drive system. Same as your 340. Same as my 340. Yeah. So this is a cut down 340. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And power um, again. Three. 370 horsepower. 369 pound feet. And you've just swapped this from an M2. M2 competition. Yes. Which power? What power was that? Which was 400. And Four horsepower, I think, 406. I don't know, okay. Something like that. Yeah. And we've just had a quick blast on the way up here, and it doesn't feel much less f slower than an M2. It doesn't at all. No. It feels just as fast, but less dramatic. Yeah, because the four-wheel drive, it just pins and goes. Yeah. Yeah, no, lovely bit of kit. Yeah. And you're saying this one's got the Pro Pack. Yeah, so in amongst the Tech Pack and Comfort Pack and all that kind of stuff, this has got the Pro Pack, and the Pro Pack gives you half-inch wider wheels, front and rear. Yep. in a slightly different design. So these are the ProPack wheels. Which have gone from what to what width? Uh, I can't remember, but they're half an inch wider front and rear than the, than the non -pro pack wheels. Okay. But crucially, as well as being half inch wider, so the rear tyres are the same size that they are without the ProPack, two five fives. Yes. But the front tyres with the ProPack go from a 225 to a 245. Ooh, quite a big jump. Quite a big jump. And Joe's going to be happy. They're also Michelins. But yeah, well, again, so if you don't have the ProPack, they yeah. come with... I think Pirelli's. Yeah. Uh, 225255. Five. Yeah. If you get the Pro Pack, they come with Star Mark Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Joe will be pleased. I love 4S's. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. They are just really, really good. No, it looks super smart, man. It looks yeah. super smart. And what's the colour? Brooklyn Grey. Uh, well, they forgot to paint it. <laughs> primer grey. It's other, not primer grey though, call, I love it. Other people would call it Brooklyn grey. Uh, yes, yeah. and it also reminds me of Porsche crayon grey, which is maybe why yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's very crayony, isn't it? Very crayony. Yeah. Very, very nice. Right, let's have a quick look inside, we'll go for a drive. Yep, standard BMW affair. Nice bits of leather, soft touch plastics. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Seats look nice and comfy. Lecky seats, lumbar support. Go there and fire up, make a bit of noise. Ready? Go on. Oh, nice. Go there, do a little tickle. This is in comfort. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I've definitely had something already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely sport mode is the one to have. Yeah. Very nice. Right, come on, let's go for blast. Yeah. I mean, what else do you need? Yeah. Oh, I feel 
so sure-footed. Yeah, it's yeah, like, massively. But it's, it's for, I wish my car rode like this. This is what, like, I, I, I just I think it's my right suspension. better than my 340, and I don't know how, because it's basically the same underneath. Uh, it feels stiffer in turning, and yet rides better. Well, yeah, because they've probably, because your, because your 340 is heavier, they've probably no. had to make the suspension yeah. firmer. It's so less than 100 kilos around. difference. Really? Yeah. Oh, this, this thing is not light. like 1.7 tons. Really? Yeah. Because of the four-wheel drive? Yeah, four-wheel drive and obviously lots of cooling system. So. And what's an M2, how much is an M2 weight? 16-ish. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, the old M240i was 1530. Wow. The two-wheel drive. Yeah. And, they, they, and this is a substantially larger car. Yes. Outside. Oh, it rides so well. It does. It feels really confident. Well, I'm not driving it, but it feels confidence inspiring. Yeah. This is in adaptive mode. What's, which means what? Which means so that the GPS can see that there's a corner coming up. Uh, okay, so yeah. it's changing gear and changes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Rolls Royce system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still doing the M2? Yeah, and you have coming out in like a year. Oh. Based on this. This is M2 fast. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that cross country, even in the best conditions, yeah. billion smooth tarmac and yeah. dry yeah. And, and hot tarmac, yeah. this would keep an M2 honest, no question. Yeah. yeah. And in anything less than that, yeah. bumps, cold, wet, whatever, yeah. I think this would be quicker. <laughs> definitely, definitely be quicker. Yeah. And it, for the person doing that, it's easier. I mean, yes. I, 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 yes. You saw what I was like in the M2. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. put a huge amount of effort into driving the M2. No, quickly, no, no. Right? But you've got to be super smooth. But I'd put even less effort into driving yes. this quickly. Yes. You know, I could do like six hours of maniac in this and get out like, have we been through drive? <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's so easy. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to like in the Alps on some yes. of the tighter stuff. Yes. When it's narrow, when it's second gear, third gear, you know, properly through tight, twisty stuff, uphill hairpins, and I'm quite excited to see how it deals with that. And how much slip it allows when you turn the traction off, and, you know. Yeah, yeah, see what it does. Apparently the four-wheel drive system is massively rear-wheel drive biased. Okay. Even more so with this wheel and tire combination, because they've yeah. been programmed the sensitive to a run over open, which means <coughs> basically send me. all, the wheel, all the parts of the rear wheels, unless the front slip. Okay. In yeah, a similar yeah. way to when you can put two-wheel drive mm -hmm. on the M3, M4, M5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, it's... I mean, what else do you need? Yeah. And then when you want to... A third. A second. Okay. Well, that sounds good, man. Ready? Steady? Yeah. Wow. Oh, mate. P. 
Hey, take me back on our tour. When are you going on Sunday? I'm going to hide in the boot. I'm going to stay in the boot. I'm going to get some provisions and stay in the boot till Sunday. Oh, mate. Yeah. Oh, I'll just make sure you driving like me sat next to you driving like that. Just making people want to be back on tour again. And the sun's out. And we've got shorts on. Hey, yeah. Always short. Always short. Doesn't matter. 365 days a year. <laughs> I did wear my shorts though. Shorts are outlined. It was five degrees when I left home this morning. I was like, I'm still putting my shorts on because I know it's gonna, the sun's gonna come out. Yes. Genuinely, like what? Well, I mean, this thing's got adaptive cruise control and reversing camera, and you know various other. I don't know all, all sort of like the Pro Pack and you know all sorts of stuff, right? Fifty grand. What, I what mean, do you need? Yeah, I mean, four seats, decent sized boot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fifty grand. It is the ultimate tour car. Yeah. Until the new M2 comes out. Well, even then, how much is that going to be? Don't know. But given that given the M3s and M4s are what, 80, 90 ish? It's going to be 60 well, they, plus, isn't it? They start at, I think the M3 and the M4 start at high 70s. Oh, yeah, I was about to say 70. And by the time you've ticked one so or two boxes, boxes you're in the 80s. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be 60, 70, isn't it? If you go for the carbon seats with the. With the yeah, yeah, with uh, that. Fanic yeah. holder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing with these seats, they haven't got a lot of um, side bolster. No, but I mean, the electric for, memory, whatever. For, for, road, got, for got, road stuff, yeah, fine. Probably yeah. for track, you'd want something a bit more. Yeah, I'm not sure this would be the best track car, simply because it's so heavy. Yeah, you might get start getting through, like, tires and brakes and stuff, yeah. 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 But then, so everyone takes, like, Joe takes his M3 on track, and that's, yeah. I mean, but then he does get through tires and brakes, so. Yeah. But his seats are really, I've been in his, well I've been in his new one, I've been in his old one, his, his, those orange seats, yeah. whatever they are, they're the really wrap around the ones. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're they're a pain to get in and out of because you do drop into them, but when you're in them they feel, you feel like you're being hugged. Yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're not falling out of them. Okay. I'm okay, you're okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good, you're right. Yeah? Yeah. I think that was my phone. What was your phone? <laughs> that is looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Train control kicked in there because we went light. Oh, is that where it was? Yeah. This is an M light. M light. <sighs> shocking, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, lot like, like, shockingly good. Yeah. Like, like, yes. Yeah. Unbelievably good. Yes. D uh, yeah. It's an M light. Yes. It's I'm, not, it's not I'm a sold. Car. Yeah. I'm sold. Yeah. I'll take one. And I love this colour. I really love this colour because it is metallic, but it, but only just yeah. in the light because yeah. it's that kind of colour so it yeah. almost looks like a flat but to me it contrasts the 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 black yes. on the car really nicely. So there we go guys we're gonna wrap the video up there. Thank you ever so much to Mr Pete for 
putting unnecessary miles on your car before you go on tour next week. But um, yeah, it's been great. It's great to experience it as well. And I mean, to be fair, great to experience it for me too because up until today, you haven't really pedaled it. I've done like motorway <laughs> a few times, so and that's got, it. So, so you got so your eye in. I, for didn't, I didn't really know what it was like when you when you arrived this morning. <laughs> yeah, you got your eye in for the tour. What's it like, Pete? Yeah, all right. And what do you think of it? Brilliant. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't think it's outright as lively, exciting as an M2 Comp. Yeah. Um, but I would suggest that for the majority of people, the majority of the time, this would be faster, safer, more comfortable. Yeah. Every bit as quick. I yes. Think, I think in the reality, for 99% of drivers, um, th there is nowhere this would be worse than the M2. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And if it started raining and, and being a bit sketchy, this would be better. Yeah. Mm. I, think, I think quite. I think this will be better on like motorway runs, and I think it'll be every bit a match for the M2, even when we're in the mountains and, and pedalling hard. And yeah. I, I was never the biggest fan of the noise of the M2 comp. I actually prefer the noise of the earlier M2s with the M55 rather than the S55. Okay. And so with this, I think you know when we're in the mountains and the light like, Pyrenees or something, and we've got the windows down. I think this actually makes a better noise. In sport mode. Than the M2 Comp. In, yeah, definitely in sport yeah, mode. Yeah. Than the M2 Comp. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited about this season. I think, I think we'll have some fun. Well, hopefully, at some point, I'll be in the passenger seat on another tour. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Without <laughs> doubt. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to go find some lunch. We're going to, what's the place up here? It's called the Jolly Nice. The Jolly Nice. So we're going to go uh, and have and a just. We're going to go have a jolly nice lunch at the Jolly Nice. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this kind of little informal look at the 240 in a little blast around. Uh, we're going to go find some lunch. As always, like, subscribe, share, go and subscribe to Petroid Tools as well, and go and follow their Instagram for more stuff on what they do. Yes, and uh, yeah, we're going to go and find some lunch. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>